Hello everybody, hope you're doing well and welcome to your first Saturday video. This one's going to be important because it's going to be focusing on the side quest. I'm going to be doing a lot of content surrounding the side quest because it does require a lot of things going over. It will be about making this as simple as possible versus kind of going into incursions, how many components you can get, what you can spend it on. And that's some of the big questions that we've got. And I'm sure one of the big questions you will have is, well, how many components can I get? And what can I get? What can I buy? Can I buy the entire entirety of the store? Uh, the quick answer is no. Bye, everybody. That's the video. No, no, no. Uh, we need to go in a bit more detail into that because it's all... Um, well, I don't know, uh, speculative, because I don't know how many components you're going to get. Right, so one of the big things that I need to kind of point out before we go anywhere, by the way, the spreadsheet, which I kind of like to talk about, is evolving. I think by the time this video is out, I'm on version 3, and it's probably going to be about, you know, updates to uh, version 4, 5, and maybe 6 by the time that we actually kind of get the side quest released, because there's tons of stuff to go over. I'm adding new bits and bobs here and there. Uh, so one of the things that we need to so check out the link in the description by the way uh, so what i've done is i have updated the spreadsheet with um information on stuff that i mean this was in version two which was how many components you can get by doing the most most zones in the amount of time um so like you know you'll have one week you'll be able to get to um zone 10 sector sector one um you know that's that's kind of like here and 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 so forth uh, and and so on so like the further you go the more components you're going to get but i don't know how many components you yes right you there watching this video i don't know how many you're going to get so but what i can do is i can give projections and i think that's something that's going to be relatively important so whether or not you're going to avoid doing sector six altogether or you're a lower player lower cav player trying to go like well i can only do sector one to three because of the difficulty curve it may not be i think it's available to everybody from what i have the conversation with kabam uh, kabam dev the other day so let's say that you can access to it so uh components wise and how many yet is important and this is what i've got on screen right now so i'll just put a red circle um in that particular so on screen so i can just kind of like focus in on the section that i want so yeah right here so these will be totals of like how many components you can get and those danger room components are what you're able to spend on and we're going to have those scenarios in a minute so what I've done also is I've updated the store. So on one of the lower tabs, so if you are looking on a spreadsheet, you can click on the lower tabs, which are going to be there, and they're going to be multiple tabs. So click on the tabs at the bottom to take you to the relevant places, especially what we're going to be uh, talking about in uh, this video. So yes, the point, the best buys and spend breakdown. And that's what we're going to be uh, discussing. So first of all, let's have a look at things. First of all, cost breakdowns, right? How many max can you get and the cost of it? And that's going to be important. So we'll, we'll go back to those figures we, we saw in a minute about farming components. Uh, so how much does those farming components mean for the store? Well, let's have a look. First of all, um, you know, some of these things, Throne Breaker Store, Tier 2 Alpha, you purchase four, costs of 373. Four times 373 is 1,492. I'm not going to read all of these, by the way. I'm just going to like just go, right, we're down here. You know, if you buy everything in the Thronebreaker section of the store, so for Paragon and Thronebreaker, it's going to cost you 111,270 components. Now, do bear in mind, you don't have to buy this stuff if you don't want it. I'm not saying go and get Tier 2 Alphas, Tier 5 Basics or whatever. But what I'm saying is if you want to buy all this stuff because you like all that stuff, you can do. But what you can do is you can spread your spending across the other store. So you can get the Thronebreaker, Cavalier, and Uncollected store if you are a Thronebreaker-based player. If you're a Cavalier player, you'll only get access to the Cavalier store and Uncollected store and lower. So that's something to point out as well. But also you can spread your spending over different things. Like you can spread your spending over the likes of the Revive section. So like there's Revive and Health Pot component spending, which does total 46,000. Again, for those that are interested in doing that. And you may be interested if you are pushing things like Sector 6, for example. You may want to have them. Or if you make a mistake or an issue or there's an input issue, you know, MCOC is not a perfect game. And also you may have some dodgy boss nodes on them. So, and that happens. Those boss buffs, man, they're no joke. In incursions, you can get some really just diabolical stuff. And you're just going like, why did Kabam even put this in? This is unfair and ridiculous. So you may need some of this. I'm just, just kind of like making you aware of that. You may need it, okay? But yeah, the idea is you can spend your spend, spread your spending 
And and yeah, if you are a throw, if you're a Paragon player, Throne Breaker player, you can get some good stuff. I must admit, seeing six star signature stones in some of these is great. So you can get um, six star, you can get 10, 10 six star signature stones. You can also get an additional five six star signature crystals. And even in the uh, section of uh, Cavalier, there is a plus five six star signature stone available for for ten k. So there's some nice stuff spread across different things. Do bear in mind as well, and something to point out is that you will get a good chunk of six star shards and five star shards from the uh, the incursions zones. So you may want to consider like, do I actually need shards from the store? Could I just go, let's focus on rank up materials and, you know, get that between all of the different stores that I need and then kind of go right shards wise, we'll leave that. To be honest, you could just get a, like a, a massive amount of shards this month. Uh, so you may want to buy everything. Uh, again, it's down to you. It's down to you if you make mistakes. And as I said, I don't know if you'll make a mistake during the month. I don't know if you'll get all the components. And I don't know whether or not uh, you personally uh, are going to have 150k components, 170k, 189k, or just 100k. You know, that's just the thing. And also, I don't know your progression. So there's a lot of variables I had to, to guess here. But there we go. At least this, first of all, part one of this video gives you an idea of store cost breakdowns uh, on things. There's a good amount you can get when it comes to revive and health potions. So you can get upwards of 40 max over all three types of incursion potions and a max of eight when it comes to level four, three and two when it comes to incursion revives. So if you are looking to kind of help yourself out, that's... Um, uh, three times that is tw that's 24 revives and it is um, was that 100 and, uh, tw 120 yeah 120 uh, potions so kabam are, are helping you out to a degree I don't know if you'll be able to spend more to get like um, uh, incursions unit ones and do bear in mind as well that's another thing to point out um, best buys in here do bear in mind that you would prior to this, have to spend units on uh, revives and health potions within incursions. So, again, that's kind of like, it's it's kind of good to note that that's the case, and you don't need to spend more units, so look at the value of that. They may be for a limited time only. I don't know if you'd better save them for your next run, like if, if this event goes, they might be event specific. I don't know just yet, so you might be able to hoard them, so do bear in mind that. you We might have to do a top tip of that, I, I don't know. But yeah, that's that's that. I think I've gone over most of my notes so we can get into the um, spend scenarios. Uh, yeah, so uh, you might want to target what you want. And there's going to be important things that six star signature stones may be a top priority for you. So look out for that. And uh, yeah, always target what you need rather than what you kind of like feel forced on you. In any case, that's that. And let's move on now to uh, spend scenarios. Now, as I said at the start of the video, taking into consideration the component farming totals, which is a tab which you can click in the spreadsheet, and these particular numbers here, these kind of like 101k, 165, 189k, and also some additional information. So let's break down this. Okay, so first of all, scenario one is Paragon gets it all. Uh, so if my totals have been correct and the data has been correct, which I've been provided, then you can get 189,985 by literally doing everything. I'm talking all sectors, all zones, all sectors one to six, all zones within sector six, and as well as well the repetition and milestones um, that you get from the solo event that comes with it. This puts you at a position of 189,985, just shy of that 190k mark. And what that gives you is a whole plethora of things. It does only total 186,455. And yes, you could add some extra stuff, but it does come to a point of like, what is the current meta for Paragon players and what you are specifically chasing? It gives you a ton of revives health potions but also gives you things like six star six six thousand six star shards plus the seven thousand five hundred so that gives you a good amount there one tier five b uh one tier five basic plus a another load of tier five base another tier five basic that's available from uh the uh lower so the uh, cavalier store so some things that you get from the cavalier store and some that you get from the um uh, the throne breaker store it really targets a lot of stuff including those uh six star signature stones and a lot of key things for paragon players now the question will be what do you sacrifice the least amount of components you have very good question you might have there person watching this video 
So if you're a Paragon player, who doesn't get it all, does Zone 10 max in Sector 6, you do drop a, a good amount. That's 100, no, so it's um, 18,000, just about 18,000 components. But it doesn't really kind of see you sacrificing uh, many things, especially when it comes to, say, uh, revives, health potions. Yes, it might mean that you have to like miss out on some uh, some health potions, maybe level three, whereas you could get level three with um, uh, getting it all. Uh, but you may not need it. And that's, that's the thing. I'm kind of like going, well, do, is this person watching this video going to need the revives and health potions? Maybe, maybe not. But it depends if you're going to be trying to push to the further sectors. But in this particular scenario, maybe you've had a bit of a rough time and you need those particular items. So you're adding the same things, tier five basics, six star signature stones, key things, and you don't really kind of feel like too much of the pinch. Your six star shards acquisition is, is largely there. But again, it's just stripping out um, some stuff that maybe you need, don't need gold as well, 100, 150K times the uh, six. So it strips out a bit of gold that you might not be getting like 900K. So it's not the be all and end all. It's not ridiculous. Moving on. Um, then you've got yourself, let's bring this across, you've got yourself a Paragon player that is just doing um, one to five sectors, but also can only get up to, um, uh, is, no, is avoiding sector six. So avoiding sector six does put down uh, the extent of all the things you can get. There might be some sacrifices you have to make, but again, still fundamentals. The six star signature stones there, uh, the... Um, Tier, the tier six basics there, rank four, six star materials, the six star shards there, and the six star signature stone stuff, as we said, is all there. You just have to uh, take out things like tier two alphas. But let's face it, a lot of Paragon players have a lot of redundant tier two alpha not really doing anything. So that's really what that's kind of stripping out uh, from that particular uh, scenario. Not, But it's still not ridiculous. You don't feel you're overly losing out as a result. It's just a case if you're not approaching those, um, uh, those, those kind of materials at the end of sector six, then you can have you still have a good time uh, with it. Moving on, throne breaker now. Um, this particular scenario is 145k, and what does it do? Well, again, this kind of gives you a good amount of stuff. It does strip out some stuff when it comes to the amount of uh, health potions you can get, and those things are going to help you out if you make a mistake. There's also um, a little bit of um, a little bit of reduction in certain areas, and yeah, you won't be able to acquire quite so much kind of gold, but still a hell of a lot of the fundamentals that you will require uh, are going to be there, including a six star signature stone. And also including the six star shards. No, no, it removes the six star shards. So that's the only thing as well. You lose the six star shards. But do bear in mind you can build that back up with the the zones if you are willing to, you know, push into six, sector six and do up to milestone five. Oh, sorry, zone five. And then it goes down, right? It goes down with how many, um, you know, things you can get from Cavalier's perspective. You know, you can just get just over 100k, which does strip out a lot of the, you know, the fun stuff but you get some key fundamentals, six star signature stones, some helpful things when it comes to six star shards. It's not a huge amount, but you get some of that stuff from the uncollected store. Um, it just adds a little bit more. So you can buy as a Cavalier player, the entirety of the store. And that's the other point as well. You can buy all of your store for your particular progression. So Cavaliers can buy the entirety of the Cavalier store um, for, a, for, for the amount that they will get. Uh, the other thing is that uh, with Thronebreaker, yes, again, you can buy the all, all the store and the Paragon player can buy um, all of the Thronebreaker store and uh, as well some of the other stuff. But do bear in mind, it puts into a perspective that if you have mistakes in the particular content that you can have those revives and health potions, if you strip those out completely, you can buy a lot more downward. But again, that's down to you as to like how how do you think you're going to perform this month? Uh, but yeah, lots of fun things, scenarios in the link in the description. Go and check out the video. Thank you very much for watching. Good luck in your grind with getting those components. Whatever volume you get, you could get any of these. You could get more and you could spend them how you choose to. But hopefully these scenarios helped you out get a bit of perspective. Check out some other content located on the screen right now. And I'll see you all very soon. Much love and goodbye.